All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to use DS4 Windows to connect your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons with your Windows PC so you can use them to play all of your favorite PC games. And the whole idea here is this is just going to convince your computer that this is an Xbox controller and be able to function using standard Xbox inputs rather than your PC not knowing what to do with it at all. So to get this to work, we're gonna to need to download like three things and then pair our Joy-Cons using Bluetooth with the PC. Although sometimes you can get this to function by plugging them in using a charging dock controller that you can buy on Amazon that allows you to dock them together in the same controller and then also have them charging at the same time. I have had some luck getting these to be recognized by plugging them in through that, but it's not something that I would call reliable. So that's why we're doing it with Bluetooth. So the first thing we need to do is we need to download DS4 Windows. If you Google DS4 Windows, you want the option in GitHub that's from Ryochan7. That's the most recent developer of DS4 Windows. I'm unfamiliar with who runs these other websites, but they are not the developer. So we're going to grab the GitHub link here. And the GitHub link will tell us to download the latest version of the .NET 8 uh, Windows framework. Just grab the 64-bit edition here, and that'll take you to download it. I've already got it downloaded here, so I'll just re-download over top of it. The other thing that we're going to need is we're going to need the latest edition of DS4 Windows. You can grab the zip version or the seven zip version, depending on what zip software you have on your computer. I'm just going to grab the 64 bit edition zip. Make sure you grab the 64 bit edition and save that to your computer. After that, we're going to need to download Vision Bus. This is the driver that allows DS4 Windows to talk to your computer. And we're gonna likewise get that from the GitHub repository, nefarious slash Vision Bus. And then you're just going to want to grab the latest edition, which there's only one of the 64 bit edition right here. Go ahead and click on that to download it. Put it in the same folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and open that folder and show you all the stuff inside, deleting the one that we don't need because I don't need duplicates. But just run through here, install by double clicking the Windows runtime for the .NET framework, and then install Vision Bus. And then the last thing we're going to do before we pair our controllers with Bluetooth is we're going to extract and run DS4 Windows. So we're going to extract that to a file of the same name. It's useful to do that because sometimes these are packaged in a way that there's files that, that spread out everywhere in like your desktop and that can become a big mess really quickly. But just click through all these folders until you get to this folder here full of stuff. And then you want to click on the DS4 Windows icon that's kind of rainbowy. That's the application. And if you've properly installed the other components to DS4 Windows, this little window here will pop up asking you where you want to store your settings for DS4 Windows. You have the option of keeping them neatly inside the folder with the actual application, or you can install them where a lot of apps install them on your computer in your app data folder. Because this program sometimes breaks and you have to delete it and reinstall it, or at least like run a fresh copy, it's generally easier to do that if you leave it in the programs folder rather than your app data folder. So we're gonna put it in the programs folder. The next thing that's gonna open up is the little pop-up window that asks you what you're going to be using for a controller with this device. By default, the first option is checked. The first option is your PlayStation 4 controller support. You can leave that checked, it won't break anything, but if you wanna be fancy about it, you can uncheck that, and instead, you can check the Joy-Con device support down here. You definitely want to check this and enable it because otherwise this won't work for your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. I'm going to leave them both selected just because that's typically what I do. So then we're gonna click close, and then that's going to launch DS4 Windows. Typically, when you're launching DS4 Windows for the first time, there's a secondary little pop-up window 
that runs you through a checklist of all of the things you need to install. But because we installed Vision Bus on our own before we even launched DS4 Windows, we don't have to worry about that. If you would like to access that list for whatever reason, you can go to settings in these tabs here at the top of the DS4 Windows page, and you can go over here to this little utilities box where these little blue links are, and there is a controller slash driver setup button. You can click on that. It will ask you for administrator support or permissions, I should say and it'll open up this little pop-up window. This is that little checklist. It includes the recommended stuff like the Xbox 360 drivers, which are installed with Windows now, so they're not separate anymore. But we already installed Vision Bus. We already have the, the controller drivers. The only thing that's left is you can use Hid Hide driver if you're having multiple inputs for a single controller because your computer's getting confused. This particular driver is to fix that. You can also install the Faker input driver, which offers some alternative driver support, which is listed down here, what it does and why. But we don't need that for this, so I'm just going to close that. So right now, we can click Start, and this will start the program. And unfortunately, because I don't have any controllers plugged into this computer, nothing's going to show up here. So now we need to open up our Bluetooth settings for our Windows Bluetooth settings. You can just look up Bluetooth and other devices in your Windows search bar, and it'll bring up this page. And from here, we need to grab your Joy-Cons, make sure they're charged. And when you're looking at your Joy-Cons, I'm gonna start with my left Joy-Con. On the little rail that allows you to slip it into your Nintendo Switch, there should be a round black button, or it might be a dark gray, depending on what plastic you have. Uh, go ahead and give that a press and hold until the lights start to dance on the back of the controller. Once they do, that means it's in pairing mode, and you can click on the button at the top of this window to add a Bluetooth device, and in this new pop-up, click Bluetooth. From here, you should see Joy-Con L show up for Joy-Con left. Click that and that will automatically pair our Joy-Con with the computer. Then we can click Done. You should have a bunch of pop-ups and bloopy noises happen. Don't worry about it, we're gonna continue from there. So the next thing we wanna do is we want to press and hold on the other Joy-Con, same button, and then we're gonna click on Add Bluetooth or Other Device once the lights on it are dancing. And then we're going to likewise pair it although it looks like I've got some stick drift going on with this other controller, it's freaking out. But we're gonna click on the right Joy-Con and click Done, and then we're gonna close this window. And here you can see we have our two Joy-Cons together, and because of how this is set up, they are functioning as a singular controller because they're automatically detected as left and right Joy-Cons by DS4 Windows. I can tell this because if they were being treated as separate controllers, you'd have the option on this second controller to change the settings profile, but instead they're both being treated as one because this one here is the only one that I can select alternate settings for. So from here, as long as these two, as long as you don't see a, a pull down menu right here, you should be good to go and you can use these in order to play your games out on whatever you want. This will work with Steam games, Epic games, EA games, Xbox launcher games, all of that stuff, this should be fine to go right now. If for, for whatever reason this just isn't working for you, you might wanna try an alternative driver like Better Joy or Steam because Steam has got really great support for the Joy-Cons. I will also warn that the Joy-Cons, depending on how old they are or whatever, sometimes there's a slight bit of latency that's different between the left one and the right one that can make it a little difficult to play with them. I don't really recommend using these if you have, say, a Pro Controller or literally any other controller. Especially on Windows, it's usually easiest to just buy yourself an Xbox controller because that will 
eliminate 99.9% of the headaches for PC gaming. Just saying. So with that in mind, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everyone, and have a good one.